What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a six ball arsenal for any lane condition, any tournament you go to at any bowling center. But first, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And also, check the links down in the description below for merch. We have our TV Bowling Supply merch site up, so if you want to go give that a check, please go give it a check. And also, if you want to go to efx.co, you can grab yourself one of these Michael Tang retro design shirts. We got different colors on there. Go to efx.co, hit the little search bar, type in Michael Tang, you'll see it all there too. If you're interested in Chris Vi stuff, do the same thing. Hit the little search bar, type in Chris Vi, bang, all of his designs are there. And don't forget to use one of our codes, MITA or CHVI for 10% off now. What you came for, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a six ball arsenal. And the first thing you wanna do when building a six ball arsenal is you want to break it up into categories, right? So I'm thinking when I first show up, I've got fresh oil and then transition and then everything after that, contingencies and such. So first we're going to start with the fresh oil. And for me personally, I like big, strong, solid ASIN balls with a nice strong cover on them. So the ball that I'm going to be picking for my six ball arsenal, the brand new harsh reality. And why I would choose a ball like this is, like I said, big, strong, solid ASIM ball. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna wanna try and dig in the front part of the lane because that's where all the oil is on the fresh oil pattern. Um, so if you're gonna go bowl a sports shot tournament, which is kind of what this video is, is you know, directed towards, um, this is a ball you're gonna wanna have in your bag just because you never know how much oil is gonna be out there. Um, and you want to have something that's going to dig through the oil no matter what. So when you see this ball hooking a little too early or a little too much, you know when to ball down. And what you're looking for when a ball like this is hooking too early or hooking too much is, let's say, the beginning of the block. It's looking real good. It's shaping real nice down lane. And all of a sudden, you see it stop hooking down lane. If you see this ball stop hooking laterally, that means it is burning up. It's hooking way too early, so what you're gonna wanna do is probably gonna wanna move left, or you're gonna wanna ball down. But I'm gonna show you another fresh option for people who are a little bit more on the higher rev rate side, a little more rev rate inclined. You probably know what it is. Starts with a U, and I'm gonna show you. Of course it's a urethane ball. Yes, I have a fast pitch here. That's because I couldn't find my pitch black. I was a little bit in a rush this morning while filming this video. Mav decided he wanted to go play outside, so we went and played outside. And by then, I didn't have a lot of time to look for my pitch black. But this one was right there. And urethane, why we throw it is because it is good at controlling the front part of the lane. So like I said, when there's fresh oil, most of the concentration of oil is gonna be in the front. And urethane balls are the balls that hook the earliest. So get your urethane balls, scuff them up real nice, and get those balls picking up early so you have that control when it exits the pattern. That's why a lot of the pros throw urethane, is to control the back of the pattern. You're wanting to see the lane front to back. Urethane is gonna help you do that on the fresh oil. But if you're somebody who doesn't like urethane or is not very rev inclined, harsh reality, gem, balls like that, strong covers, low RG, very high diff, asymmetric, that's what you're gonna be looking for. But let me show you the next transition down after you feel like maybe your harsh reality is hooking a little too early, burn up, going a little too forward down lane, what you would naturally progress to is one of two options. One, you go to something like a phase two, strong cover, strong core, but symmetric. So what that's gonna do for you, it's still gonna give you that front lane control because the cover is still strong, but it's gonna give you a little more continuation down lane because what the asymmetric is gonna try and do for you it's gonna try and get the ball going a little bit straighter down lane. And that's what hook is, going from having that axis rotation to losing that axis rotation. So asymmetric balls are gonna try and do that a little bit earlier for you than a symmetric ball. So I'm gonna receive some of the same properties as say a harsh reality, as far as the front part of the lane is concerned. But with this ball, it's gonna try and continue a little bit better. It's gonna be slightly cleaner just cause it doesn't have that asym. And ideally, I'd probably play this with a little bit less surface as a harsh reality just to have those differences, right? But I'll show you the other way to go off of the harsh reality, and that way would be something like the Attention Star. Now, what this is, is a pearl asymmetric ball. 
So it's kind of the other way where I'm gonna get a little bit more clearance through the front part of the lane, but I'm still gonna receive that same mid lane read and control as I am with the harsh reality. So two different scenarios, two different situations to combat the same issue, right? So that's the thing with bowling. It's not black and white. It's gonna be situation based and it's gonna be different every single time. So you have to gain that experience, go out there and bowl and see which situations work uh, with different solutions, right? Because here we're talking about the harsh reality burning up and there's two different ways to go fix it. There's the phase two, strong, solid, symmetric, or a shinier, cleaner cover, asymmetric ball. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pearl. It could be a hybrid. It could even be a solid like the Absolute Power, which has a very clean cover, even though it is a dull solid. It shines up very quick and the cleaner cover is going to help it float through the front part of the lane. So you're going to want to have one of these in your bag just to have those options going from down from the harsh reality, then making a little bit of a lateral move left to right, whether you go phase two type ball, you know, phase two, idle, those kind of balls, strong cover, solid symmetric balls, or cleaner ASIM balls like the Attention Star, Virtual Energy Blackout, and even Absolute Power. But let's move on. Lanes are starting to cook a little bit for you, and you're gonna need even more clearance through the front part of the lane. What you're gonna look for is a ball like this. TNT infused. Now this is a cleaner cover, strong symmetric core, right? So we're thinking phase two, stronger cover, more teeth. It's gonna read more in the front part of the lane. Now when that oil in the front starts to go away, you're gonna need something that's gonna slide through there a little bit better, right? So let's say phase two is not particularly reading the lane the right way. It's getting a little wiggly down lane. It's getting a little skittish in the front part of the lane. Look for something a little bit cleaner, like the TNT infused or Sublime or Summit Peak has been very good for a lot of people. It's gonna give you a little bit of that extra clearance through the front part of the lane, but in the middle part of the lane, it's still gonna give you that strong read where it's gonna try and slow down because it's still low RG, high diff. So you're gonna look for balls with core numbers somewhere in like the high two fours, maybe even two five, but with high diff in the fifties ideally. So you get all that flare, so ball's still slowing down as it crosses the lane but you're getting quite a bit more skid with a ball like this. Now, let's say that's hooking a little too much for you now. Lanes are really cooking. I'm gonna look for something even further down, like Exponent Pearl. Now you might be thinking, they might be kind of similar. TNT infused, Exponent Pearl, Summit Peak, those kind of balls. But if you look at the core numbers of this one, we're gonna start with the core first, still, a semi low RG symmetric, but the diff numbers are quite a bit lower. Uh, this one I believe has 42 diff as opposed to balls that are in the 50s, like the Summit Peak, TNT infused, things like that. And that makes a big difference. And also what I like to do with a ball like this, where I'm using where the lanes are really cooking, I'll drill them pin down to give me a little bit more stability through the front part of the lane. What pin down is gonna do for you, it's gonna tighten those flares up a little bit and it's gonna help it skid through the front part of the lane a little bit easier, and that transition on the back is gonna be quite a bit smoother, a little bit more controllable. So for someone like me, who has a little bit more of an aggressive hand, it's gonna be a little bit more useful for controlling the back part of the lane, because if I pinch one a little bit harder than normal, the pinups can tend to get offline a little bit earlier. These are gonna help me a little bit when the lanes are hooking a lot. But you might be thinking, if I deleted urethane, I've only got five balls, right? So for people who don't like urethane, another option that I like to have in the bag is something like this. Balls I kind of like to label as the X Factor balls, right? And specifically, I'm gonna name a few, uh, IQ Ruby, IQ Tour, the Hustles, or the Tour Dynamics, as far as SBI balls are concerned. You could do your own research with other brands, uh, but obviously these are the balls I throw, so these are the balls I know, right? Uh, what's unique about these is low RG and low diff, right? So that's a unique combination of the ball wants to pick up early, but it's going to still be stable as it's transitioning. And it's going to be more stable than your pin down exponent. As you can see in the video, you can see the Ruby getting down there quite a bit further and the transition is still very smooth. And that's gonna be great for the situation we were just talking about with the exponent, where the fronts are a little bit questionable. You need a ball that's gonna get through there every time, but not something you need to feel like you need to give the big hook or separate the lane a lot with. 
balls with low RG, low diff, like the IQs, Tour Dynamics, Hustle. They're gonna let you keep the ball in front of you a little bit better, help you control the lane, and that's why they've been so good. That's why IQ Tour has been around forever, right? It gives you that control, versatility, and I mean, it's pretty much what you want on a sport pattern when the lanes are getting a little choppy for you. But obviously there are a lot of different options for you, like in the exponent pearl category especially, there's probably a ball that you're wondering why I didn't mention, high road, high road pearl. Those are also applicable in that situation. Just for me lately, I've kind of liked pinned down, slightly stronger balls as opposed to, you know, just a regular pin up high road pearl. Those give me a little bit of a different look. Um, but it's just what I like, and you're gonna like different things. You might not like the TNT infused or the attention star or harsh reality, but I'm just trying to help you guys categorize balls to create as much versatility as possible, right? We just want a whole bag that's gonna be helpful for you on any lane condition. You wanna be able to combat any type of situation that you see, and building a bag like this is gonna help you go to any tournament, any building, any pattern, and still be competitive, right? But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know what else you guys want to see down in the comments below. Again, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Check out our merch. Check out our jerseys. Check out whatever else is down in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.